Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, help us lift up the name of Jesus on this morning. Hallelujah. We can send up our individual praise collectively on today. Hallelujah. How many of you know that our life is in the hands of the Lord? And we're going to lift them up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Clap your hands for Jesus. Come on, y'all. You know the song, just help us sing it on this morning.
for you, hallelujah. You some up to up for praise, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Now say, Lord, I praise you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I praise you. I'm going to give you all the glory. Lord, I praise you. Is he your everything this morning? Is he your peace this morning? Is he your joy this morning? He's my everything. Oh, yes, he is. to praise him glory to God I say it's all right to praise him oh thank you Jesus glory to God oh hallelujah thank you for being my everything glory to God oh hallelujah somebody give God a great praise this morning come on and give him a great praise this morning Oh, hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank the Lord for what we feel in the building this morning. Glory to God. I appreciate God for another opportunity. How many know you know it was only because of him that we're here today? Glory to God. Somebody ought to tell him thank you. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. We appreciate God for what he's already doing for us this morning. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask every able body. Praise the Lord. Would you please stand so we can go before the Lord in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, another opportunity that you've given us. Lord, we realize if it had not been for you and your mercy, Lord, we wouldn't be here today. But because of that, we want to tell you thank you. Thank you for your mercy and your grace. Thank you for your loving kindness and your tenderness. Thank you for allowing us to come together one more time and worship you in the beauty of holiness. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing even right now. We thank you for your presence being in this place. We realize if if you don't show up, God, we're just going to be here. Lord, but we thank you for your presence, God, because we know that in your presence is the fullness of joy. We know that in your presence that lives are going to be changed. Somebody's going to be saved and delivered. Somebody's going to be set free and made whole. Lord, and we thank you for it this morning. Father, we come boldly to the throne of grace, asking you to come in and have your way. Move like only you can. Touch every heart, every mind. Don't let not one vessel leave the way they came in. God, but we ask him that you strengthen. God, we ask him that you restore them. We ask him that you heal and deliver them. God, whatever they stand in need of, God, I pray that you grant it in the name of Jesus. Father, we come before you this morning. God, because we know that you got a word for us this morning. Lord, and we ask that you anoint the woman of God as she break the bread of life. Give her what to say to us and give us an ear to hear you, what you're saying to us. With a heart to obey your word. Lord, and we'll praise you forevermore. Thank you, Lord God, for every part of this service. We ask that you bless the musicians as they play skillfully. We ask that you anoint every singer as they sing for your glory and for your honor. God, and we ask that you bless even the congregation. Oh, God, to put their hands together and thank you and praise you and lift you up, thinking on the goodness and all that you've done for us. But, God, we ask that you bless our leaders. Continue to strengthen them and uplift them is our prayer. In Jesus' name I do pray. Let the people of God say amen. Come on, say amen again. Glory to God. While you remain standing, praise the Lord, we're going to our scripture reading. Scripture reading will come out of the book of Psalms. Psalms chapter 18. We will read verses 49, 46 through 49. Psalms chapter 18. We're going to read verses 47 through 49. I'll read the first, you'll read the second, and we'll read verse 49 all together. Is that all right? Indicate if you have it by saying amen. Praise the Lord. Psalms chapter 18, verse 46, read. The Lord liveth, and blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. Congregation. Verse 48, he delivered me from mine enemies. Yea, thou lifted me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Praise the Lord. All together, verse 49. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen. Praise the Lord. Give God a great praise for his word. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Right now, we're going to turn into the hands of Sister Erica Howard for, excuse me, Sister Danisha Coleman for our morning observation. Give God a great praise for her. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. How many of you are happy to be back in the house of the Lord on this morning? Amen. Amen. Welcome to Garland Full Gospel Holy Temple, where our leaders are the Apostle Herman L. Murray and the beautiful Lady Danielle Murray. Can we give them a hand on this morning? 
Amen. We would like to welcome or acknowledge any first-time guest. If you are visiting with us for the first time, uh, please stand or wave your hand so that we can welcome you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. For the benefit of our guests, our service times are as follows. Sunday, Sunday school begins at 9.45 a.m. in the main sanctuary. Only worship service begins at 11 a.m. With Sunday prayer service begins at oh, uh, 6 o'clock p.m. with evening worship service to follow at 6.30 p.m. And our midweek family night service begins at 7.30 p.m. on Thursdays with prayers, uh, prayer service pres uh, presiding at 7 o'clock. Amen. Amen. And continue to visit the FGHT app calendar and to stay abreast of all upcoming events. If you do not have the FGHT app, I highly recommend um, to keep up with all details. Amen. Our apostle is carrying this gospel throughout the world, and we want to support him. How many of you want to support him? Amen. Amen. For additional information about the May 3rd Holiness Crusade, in St. Louis, Missouri, please visit the app for more details. Amen. And we have a special announcement, and I will turn that over to Sister Erica Howard this morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. Once again, praise the Lord. Amen. I have a special announcement for you on this morning, and it reads, We are the, we the members of Full Gospel Holy Temple Church, Dallas, Garland, and Lancaster are excited to announce our upcoming pastoral anniversary and appreciation celebration 2024, where the theme is a voice that shakes the nation. Amen? Amen. I love that theme. Amen. That is taken from Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. This awesome event will be held from June 6th through June 8th. That is June 6th, 7th, and 8th at 7.30 p.m. nightly in honor of our beloved pastor and our first lady, Apostle Herman L. Murray Jr. and our first lady evangelist, Danielle Murray. Amen. These two individuals have been instrumental in guiding us spiritually, and we just want to express our gratitude for all that they have done. On Thursday night, the music department, the bereavement department, the altar workers, and the youth department will be representing. On Friday night, the sisterhood, the usher board, the greeters, the mother's board, the, cra the craft committee, Wednesday morning prayer ser service, and the Meals on Wheels and homeless uh, groups will be representing. On Saturday night, the Brotherhood, the Soul Harvest Evangelistic Association, Sunday School Department, and the new member orientation will represent. Now, God has blessed us with quite a few new members. And if you, if you would like your name added to the appreciation booklet, we're asking that you submit your names to me. Uh, or if your name was inadvertently omitted on last year, please submit your names to me. We're asking that you do that by May 1st. Please do that by May 1st. If you never saw your name in the book, please do that by name first. Amen. And so we're excited to celebrate our leaders. They are worthy of double honor. How many of you believe that? Praise God. And so we want you to prepare your minds and your hearts and your pocketbooks to do that. Amen. Praise God. And those are all the announcements. Please govern yourselves accordingly. Amen. We ready to bless the Lord in song on today. Praise God. This song was going to be led by none other than Sister LaShonda Smith on this morning. Now, how many of you are holding on to his promises on this morning? Did God make anybody a promise? He made me a promise. I'm looking for it. I believe I'm going to see it. What about you on this morning? All right.
the body of Christ. Amen. To change the hearts and the minds of people. Y'all can get quiet. Amen. The devil, did you know the devil will send people to church? Amen. The devil ain't got real people, but he'll send the counterfeits into the body of Christ. And that's the reason why. Amen. You've got to be careful about who you yoke up with even in the house of God. Amen. Everybody that's shouting and speaking in some kind of tongue ain't got the Holy Ghost. You still got folk that the devil has sent in to be a negative example. Amen. Before the eye of those young ones that are coming seeking a better life and a different walk. Amen. But you've got to be careful and you've got to know that that's not God. That's why we've got to preach to you the word. Amen. Because the word of God is a lamp and a light. Amen. It's going to shine on all of those motives that other people are trying to hide. And I don't care how good they talk. What you've got to learn how to do. Amen. It's measure their conduct by the word of God. <laughs> Oh, Lord, everybody that's speaking in tongues and trying to prophesy to you, amen, ain't doing so by the Spirit of God. The Bible says you try the Spirit, y'all. I'm trying to figure out if I got somebody here that know the Word. Amen. He says you've got to try the Spirit. I don't care, amen, if they look like they saved. Try that Spirit. Lord, y'all ain't said that they prophesied. You ain't got to just submit to every word that folk trying to speak over your life. You try that Spirit. And how do you try the spirit, huh? By the word of God. Oh, God. Somebody said, you try the spirit by the spirit. No. You try the spirit by the word of God. Because the word of God is already settled in the heaven. Isn't that what the scripture tells us? Amen. Psalms 119 and 89 says, forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. If you don't like it, you can't do nothing with the word. Amen. The apostle used to tell us, you got to go to heaven and change this word. And by the time you get there, change it, it ain't going to be on your mind. Amen. So we try the spirit by the word of God. So what does that tell us? That tells us we got to know this word, don't it? Amen. You got to know what it says for yourself. And that's why I feel bad for people. Amen. That say I can't go to church because I know this about people and I've seen people do that. They don't know the word. Because if they knew the word, they would realize the Bible never said, amen, measure your life by people. He said Christ left us an example. Oh, look at somebody and tell them Christ is my example. I ain't worried about who lying. I ain't worried about who cheating. Amen, I ain't leaving the church because of shysters. Amen, Christ is my example. Thank you, kind spirit. He, he's who I look to. Amen. He's the one that lights me up. Amen. He's the one that gives me direction and, and gives me instruction. Amen. He's my role model. And I don't care what else is going on in the name of the Lord. Amen. I'm looking to Christ. He is the author and the finisher of my faith. Yeah. Thank you, kind spirit. You you gotta realize, amen. The devil is not about the body of Christ. Amen. To change the hearts and the minds of people. Y'all can get quiet. Amen. The devil, did you know the devil will send people to church? Amen. The devil ain't got real people, but he'll send the counterfeits into the body of Christ. And that's the reason why. Amen. You've got to be careful about who you yoke up with even in the house of God. Amen. Everybody that's shouting and speaking in some kind of tongue ain't got the Holy Ghost. You still got folk that the devil has sent in to be a negative example. Amen. Before the eye of those young ones that are coming seeking a better life and a different walk. Amen. But you've got to be careful and you've got to know that that's not God. That's why we've got to preach to you the word. Amen. Because the word of God is a lamp and a light. Amen. It's going to shine on all of those motives that other people are trying to hide. And I don't care how good they talk. What you've got to learn how to do. Amen. It's measure their conduct by the word of God. Oh, Lord, everybody that's speaking in tongues and trying to prophesy to you, amen, ain't doing so by the Spirit of God. The Bible says you try the Spirit, y'all. I'm trying to figure out if I got somebody here that know the Word. Amen. He says you've got to try the Spirit. I don't care, amen, if they look like they
they saved, try that spirit. Lord, Yahweh said, if they prophesied, you ain't got to just submit to every word that folk trying to speak over your life. You tried that spirit. And how do you try the spirit, huh? By the word of God. Oh God, somebody said, you try the spirit by the spirit. No, you try the spirit by the word of God. Because the word of God is already settled in the heaven. Isn't that what the scripture tells us? Amen. Psalms 119 and 89 says forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. If you don't like it, you can't do nothing with the word. Amen. The apostle used to tell us, you got to go to heaven and change this word and by the time you get there changing it ain't gonna be on your mind amen so we try the spirit by the word of god so what does that tell us that
Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Somebody say, we thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, we thank you. Glory to your name. God. Lord, Lord, we thank you. Come on and put your hands together for Jesus on this morning. I said, put your hands together for Jesus on this morning. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody shout, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your name, God. Amen. As, as they were singing, I got full because I began to look around this church. And I began to think about what God has done for the people in this church. Hallelujah. How, how many people that God have brought out of some terrible situations. Amen. I was looking at my brother-in-law. God gave him a testimony. And I say, thank you. Amen. I began to look at my sisters and brothers in Christ, those who have lost loved ones recently, and I say, thank you. Because my sisters and my brothers, they're still standing. I see my brothers and sisters just now coming back to Christ, and I say, thank you. You got a right to praise him. If you would just reach way down, I'm sure you could find a reason to praise God. I'm sure you could find a reason to praise him. Did he wake you up this morning? Did he start you on your way? Hallelujah, you got a right to praise him. Look at your name and tell him you got a right to praise him. I don't know what you're going through, but you got a right to praise him. God's been just that good. Look at your neighbor and say, God's been good. He's been better to me than I could be to myself. He loved me when I didn't love myself. God's been good. And I glorify him on today. I magnify the name of the Lord on today. Because he's been a strong tower. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? Thank you, God. I bless your name on today, Jesus. I magnify you, God. There's none like you nowhere. And I just want to give you the glory. Glory to your name. I thank God today. He's been good to me. I said he's been good to me. I don't know what he's been to you, but he's been good to me. Whoo, hallelujah. When I look back over my life, and I think where he brought me from, Somebody say, look where he's brought me from. He's brought me from a mighty long way. Oh, I'm still in my right mind. Woo, hallelujah. Glory to God. You don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. And I got a right to praise him. Will you help me praise him? I said, will you help me praise him? Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on and put your hands together for God. He's been a good, good father. And I just felt like praising him. And I just wanted you to have an opportunity to praise him. 
Amen. Turn your Bibles to Acts chapter 16, verse 25 and 26. And I promise we won't be here very long. Amen. The Bible says, and at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. Verse 26 said, and suddenly, look at your neighbor and say, suddenly, there was a great earthquake. Come on, give me some earthquake music. There was a great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately, look at your neighbor and say, immediately, all the doors were open. And everyone's bands were loosed. I said, everyone's bands were loosed. And that's all I got to tell you on this morning. At midnight. Somebody say it happened at midnight. Silas, Paul and Silas prayed. And they sang praises unto God. And their bands were loosed. Am I talking to somebody today? Your bands need to be loosed. Look at somebody and ask them, will you be my praise partner? Will you be my praise partner? Look at somebody and say, I got a praise and I got to get it out. Will you praise God with me? Come on and praise him just a little bit. loose. 
If you need something from the Lord, get down here so I can pray for you. Because everyone's fans will lose. My fans are going to be loose. Your fans are going to be loose. Your fans are going to be loose. Your fans are going to be loose. He said everyone's fans were loose. So I came to tell you, if you pray for me, and I pray for you, our fans going to be loose.
Come on, praise him. Hey, hallelujah. Loose the shackles, God. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. by your power in the name of Jesus loose the shackles God loose the bands God in the name of Jesus you for it. God, we believe you for it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Oh, hallelujah. God, we need you. Come on, don't stop praising him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Send it out, Jesus. Send it down. with a praise. Come on. You got to dig deep. Go just a little bit deeper. You all got to praise. We are facing some big stuff. We all got to praise. Don't you leave here without giving him all you got. Don't leave here without giving him all you got. Today, God. Woo! Lord, I bless your name. Don't leave it without giving him all you got. Woo! Give it all to him. Woo, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. a word. You shall be loose. You shall be loose. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. I say you don't have to leave the way you came. Glory to God. Shall be loose. You shall be Shall be 
loose you now. Let him 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 loose you now. That's it. Let him loose you. Let him loose you now. Let him loose you now. Let him loose you now. You've been bound long enough. Let him loose you now. You've been bound long enough. Let him loose you now. You've been troubled long enough. Let him loose you now. You've been tormented long enough. Let him loose you now. Let him loose you now. Let him loose you now. Let him loose your mind. Let him loose you now. 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 Now give him a great praise, somebody. Give God a great praise, somebody. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I see the bands loose. I see the bands loose. I see they've been loose. You can think right. Oh, hallelujah, I see the bands loose. You can walk right, hallelujah. I see them loose. I see them loose. Glory to God. Woo! Oh, hallelujah. Go ahead and praise it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give God a great praise for our first lady. You know what? It don't take a lot of words to get free. God sent a few words through the woman of God. And he began to loose on this side. And then he started loosening on that side. And then I seen him loosening in the back. Glory to God. Give God a great praise. Oh, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad I'm free. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, move your hands. Woo, I'm glad I'm free. Why don't you move your feet a little bit? You see those chains, they're not on there no more. Glory to God. Can't you feel it? Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank God for such a great word. Glory to God. God bless you, first lady. I thank God for that word. Oh, hallelujah. He said all of your bands going to be loose. Glory to God. And his word don't go out for him. You know, I seen that he accomplished just what he said. Oh, hallelujah. I see my brother over there loose. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, Sister Erica. Praise God. We'd like to welcome our newest member, Brother Jamie Jackson. Brother Jamie Jackson. Well, praise the Lord. <laughs> Come on, God, and let's give it up. God for bless him. you, brother. Look at God. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> He's a good God. Welcome, Brother Jamie. When you see him. Hallelujah. Thank God for our, our new member, Brother Jackson. Praise God. Well, praise the Lord. Lord, we thank you. Let's go before the Lord in the word of prayer. Father, we thank you for what you've done. We thank you for the word that you sent through this great woman of God. Lord, we thank you that our eyes was able to see, oh God, so many loose from whatever had them bound. Lord, we thank you, Jesus, uh, for the Holy Ghost and that with fire. We thank you for what you did for us today. God, and we ask that you, God, oh God, go with them, God. Don't let them be the same, God, after today, God. Let it be a constant reminder, oh God, that whatever we loose on earth, uh, it's loose in heaven. Uh, God, God, and we thank you for loosing the people of God in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you bless our first lady. Continue to strengthen her and use her for this last day hour. Lord, and we ask this, leave this place. God, but never from your presence. Go with us, lead us, and guide us and protect us. Bring us back at the appointed time. Oh, God, it will be careful to give you the name, the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Let the people of God just praise the Lord. 